Hey guys, this is a quick tip little video here. Um, this is going to be actually talking about TOPS and PDG. Um, I actually made a tutorial about this um, maybe t two months ago or something, and some people asked me how they could add labeling to the montage result. Um, some of you might know that you could montage together a bunch of renders into a single contact sheet kind of a file and I actually did not show how you could la add labeling to each individual file so it makes it easier to find um, what the render relates to in terms of the cached out file so I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that real quick so here we've got some of our proxies of our rock and in this example, we want to render out all 50 of these, I believe. So all we need to do is just drop down a ROP fetch. And this lets you pull in ROP data. So we've got in our scene our regular Redshift ROP. I have the settings really low because I just want this to render fast for our, our purposes. Um, I gotta just make sure in the schedulers that I need to load up our local scheduler. You could do this with deadline also and split up the tasks, but I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. This is we're just gonna use the local scheduler since not everybody has deadline. And actually we need a second scheduler because this scheduler here is going to work with everything all all our cpus so i use that to generate our geometry and our proxies and so i'm going to need a second one so let's just make another one and this local scheduler we'll just call local gpu because um the local scheduler if, uh side effects hasn't added gpu affinity to it yet so it doesn't um, work splitting up your tasks per GPU. So let's load that up. And let's come back up here. And on our scheduler, let's see here. Instead of the uh, having it run on multiple CPUs and stuff, our scheduling tasks need to be single. So it renders one frame at a time. And like I said, that's just because uh, currently the local scheduler doesn't support GPU affinity. Um, okay, cool. And so for our next step, we're going to drop down a wait for all. And this is going to basically wait, cause everything to wait until all our, all our frames have finished rendering. And once they finish rendering, it pulls in all that data and waits. And so once it's done, it moves on to the next task. And so for the next task, we're going to use image magic. Plug this in here. We're going to highlight this. And in our image magic node, we actually want to set up a montage. So there's different options here. You could convert them if you need to convert it to a different format or a different size or percentage of quality. But we're not going to do that. We're going to just use a montage. Since my output ROP is already just writing PNGs, pretty small file format anyways. So the uh, something important to have in here as our, our ROP that's going to write out our data, we need to have in the name somewhere the wedge index number. So instead of um, normally you might have dollar sign $F, so that each frame generates, you know, um, a different frame render. We actually need inside of our file path, we need a name. So I'm just going to use the hip name, but you can put whatever you want in here. And the uh, attribute which we're pulling in, which it, which is the wedge index. So it's just apostrophe at wedge index apostrophe again. I think that's an apostrophe. <laughs> it might be a single quote. Um, so let's, with with the uh, wedge index attribute set here, let's go back to our top net. 
what's going on is that the uh, the ROPs that we wrote out, they're using also the uh, wedge index. And so each one of these points, if we zoom in here, or jobs, is a different wedge index number. So if we middle mouse click this, you'll see that this is index 24, this is index 7, 42, and so on. So each one of these is an index that is individually numbered and loading in different um, redshift proxies. Or you could load in BGO, whatever, right? And this then is getting fed to our ROP fetch, which is going to render using our redshift ROP1. And so each frame is going to use this wedge index number to render multiple frames. So just something to keep in mind that you do need the uh, oops the uh, wedge index attribute here somewhere. Okay, and oops, let's go back into our top net. And so our image magic node is going to take all of these uh, image files, the rendered image files, and combine them into a single contact sheet. Now, something you need to set up is you got to make sure you installed image magic. And so Houdini doesn't actually ship with it. So you're going to have to just Google image magic and you'll come to the download section and just look for whatever version you need if you need Mac or Windows and so then you'll install this and it should automatically add the uh, environment variables into your system and then you have to add the uh, PDG image magic environment variable into your own Houdini install or if you don't want to do that, you could just manually search for it by clicking this icon here and then just looking for it wherever you have it installed. So I have it installed here on C programs, Image Magic 7.9, whatever. And you need to look for specifically the magic.exe. So you accept this. And now after that, you'll have the output naming. You could name, you could put this wherever you want, use whatever naming convention you want. So I'm going to just call this, let's just get rid of this. I'm going to call it, go, I want it in my hip file. And I'm going to put it in images. And I'm going to just call this contact sheet dot PNG. And so to overlay information, actually, if we, if we render this, let's, let's render this. So let's just hit um, shift G down here. That's going to start processing our renders up here. And then it's going to wait for all our renders to finish. And then it's going to make a mo uh, montage out of all these renders. So I'm going to let this render for a little bit. And I'll be right back just to show you guys the result. All right, guys, so um, back here is all our rendered frames. And so if we go into our images folder, actually, I should probably get rid of these since these are old. I have the contact sheet PNG, and actually let me get rid of this one too. So you'll see that we have the contact sheet PNG that was made after our wait for all node. And so if we open this up, what it did was it merged all our different renders. Now, <clears throat> this is cool, but the problem is that none of them are labeled. So we don't know which out of these renders, let's say we like this rock and this rock and maybe this one, we don't know which of our models that that number is. So it kind of makes it a little difficult to find out which one you liked because there's no labeling of any sort. So they actually provide 
this neat little option here where if you go to overlay you choose file name and so if we now render this you would assume right that this would give you the file name printed out so if we just hit OK it's gonna re-render our last image magic node which will update here and you'll now notice that we have these black bars underneath everything but where's the writing right so I don't know why the default um, when activating this the the default script that's that's being sent to command line doesn't make the font white so there is writing here but because it's black and the background is black you can't see it <laughs> which is kind of weird so what you need to do is actually check on command line and you'll notice that we have this background option you can change the background color to whatever you want I like it black so what you need to do is add another command for image magic called fill and then we're gonna make this white and so what this is doing is it's gonna make our label which is our um, file name and the text is gonna be white so now if we re-render this let's wait for that to finish and let's reopen this up if we zoom in now you'll see that all our um, frames are labeled with the correct numbering so rock gen hda 37 36 35 so let's say you know now now i know which ones i could pick so 35 looked cool that would be the equivalent of 35 here so if we 33 selected that now we know that 35 is nice so then we could save that separately and delete you know our, our other um, cached out models so that's that's actually now how you add labeling so really easy to do it's just I think a lot of people might have been confused wondering why they don't see anything and it's actually because it is there it's just the font isn't visible unfortunately for some reason the default isn't set this way I personally think that the uh, side effects guys should add this so it doesn't confuse people um, when you just switch to file name mode it should automatically add fill white um, for the back the black background but anyways so yeah that's just a uh, quick little tip for you guys that were wondering how to better organize these montages so you could easily label them and quickly find out which assets you prefer the most so hopefully you guys find this useful um thanks again guys for all the support on patreon and on youtube have a great day